Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our sermon for this morning. I'd just like to read a couple of verses, if I may, from John chapter 7. And I'm going to begin to read at verse 37. On the last and greatest day of the festival of tabernacles, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up until that time the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. Do you ever get thirsty? I do, and I do so regularly. Why do we get thirsty? Because it's built into us. It's our human nature. We were created for water and for food. And we don't think twice about going into the kitchen and sorting ourselves out food and drink wise just whenever we need to. But I wonder, are we as willing to sort out our spiritual thirst as much as our physical thirst? Although not mentioned very often in the New Testament, the festival that we read about today, the Festival of Tabernacles, was one of the big three annual festivals, along with Passover and Pentecost in the Jewish calendar. Adult Jewish males were expected to make the pilgrimage to Jerusalem, and it was generally the most joyous and popular of the three festivals, as it remembered God's provision during their wanderings in the wilderness. And the text that we read this morning is the second segment of Jesus' teaching in this chapter. It occurs on the last day of the festival, the great day. And on that day, if you were there, what you would have seen would have been the priest drawing water from the pool of Siloam with a golden pitcher. And the priest would carry it back to the temple and pour it into a silver bowl next to the altar, accompanied by musicians and choirs. And as the priest poured out the water, he would pray to God to send rain. So isn't it interesting and significant that on this last day in this festival, in which water and cleansing is such an important symbol, Jesus declares, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink, and the one who believes in me. From that most innermost being will flow rivers of water. So here's a challenge for all of us. The next time we are feeling thirsty, let's pause before we drink. Look at our drinks. Pray that God will refresh us continually. And then as you drink, thank him for his goodness and his refreshing love. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that we can come before you and drink and we can taste the goodness of your spirit welling up in our lives and then send us out to live and work to your praise and glory. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye, everybody. and. God bless you.